there shall be giants who walk the earth. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God Holy in the Ghost earth today. God in the earth and today. you walk with him by saying words. Holy My name Ghost is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining today. us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this is not your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight I will be speaking from the room of Holy Ghost worship. A room that you enter into by using the words, I worship you Holy Ghost. Things sound different in here. Have you ever been outside a room? Sounds different, doesn't it? Things that are in the room sound different from the outside of the room. And when you get into the room, things sound different. It is different in here. If you don't think it's different, you're not there yet. This is not just adding a little bit of Holy Ghost worship to the end of all your other stuff this changes everything I'm telling you everything is in this room your healing is in this room youth renewal for every cell of your body is in this room your God appointed prosperity is in this room everything you could possibly want or desire is in here listen i'm in here did that sound different did that sound like it was far away from another room or did it sound really close ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11 and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers verse 12 for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ but my point here in reading this is that he gave some apostles prophets evangelists pastors and teachers he gave them what are these these are ministry gifts yes but these are people he gave some people he gave some people God gives people he could have done it some other way but he didn't you could argue that God gave the gift or the ministry gifts but it's really hard to separate the person from the gift it's very difficult to separate the call from the person especially a person who obeys matthew chapter 3 and verse 1 and in those days came John the Baptist John the Baptist it would be very difficult for you to separate John from the Baptist he was sent and he was given as John the Baptist so in those days came John God gave a person in those days came so it was a specific time that he came before he came that particular thing that God was doing through the man John the Baptist and the gift John the Baptist had not yet happened it wasn't there yet it wasn't in the earth yet verse 4 this same John had his raiment of camel's hair don't mock me because I have a coat made out of camel's hair 
John had a coat made out of camel's hair and his leather girdle about his loins and his meat was locust and wild honey and so he dressed kind of differently and he ate some strange things verse 5 then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan and were baptized of him in Jordan confessing their sins he brought people into into something new something that wasn't there before before John came no one baptized people unto repentance it wasn't done it wasn't a thing it was completely unheard of and yet there he was could they have done this sure but they didn't not until a man was given Matthew chapter 11 see what Jesus said about John the Baptist Matthew chapter 11 and verse 7 and as they departed Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John what went you out into the wilderness to see a reed shaken with the wind verse 9 but what went you out for to see a prophet yea I say unto you and more than a prophet now if we recall back to Ephesians chapter 4 he listed apostle prophet evangelist pastor and teacher the apostle would be more not necessarily more important but just a higher office verse 10 for this is he of whom it is written behold I send my messenger before thy face that's what an apostle actually is one sent forth with a message establishing doctrine entering new territory that which never existed before and that's what Jesus was calling John the Baptist are you here bringing things into the earth and establishing them well I was given the words I worship you Holy Ghost by an angel he said to me use these words and use them I did I began to use them for myself I worship you Holy Ghost but I began to preach them and I used them and I said them and I preached them and I taught them but before I began to say them and use them and preach them and teach them you didn't go here could you have sure but you didn't use of these words brought in a new thing into the earth a new place to inhabit a new room to live in a new dimension the next great thing I am called and given to take you there with me if you will hear my words you become a transported one one who is transported into the new reality into the next great thing you were destined to go here you were destined to live here and I mean really live your worship of the Holy Ghost honors Jesus the real Jesus the Jesus who is not now in the earth but shall return that Jesus the real Jesus your worship of the Holy Ghost honors him I worship you Holy Ghost is a statement 
that you have past tense believed on him Jesus and received the one whom he sent to be with you and the scriptures over and over and over say believe on Jesus receive the Holy Ghost believe on Jesus receive the Holy Ghost worship of the Holy Ghost presupposes all of these things belief on Jesus and then obedience to receive the one that he sent I worship you Holy Ghost presupposes all of these things I worship you Holy Ghost is a testimony that pleases God Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated meaning changed from one thing to the next transported from one place to another that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him before his translation see three times translated translated translation he had this testimony before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God I worship you Holy Ghost is a testimony that pleases God my testimony pleases God I am the new Enoch say it I am the new Enoch and my testimony pleases God this is our dispensation the dispensation of the Holy Ghost worshiper and it remains to be seen how great we shall be but there shall be giants who walk the earth thank you Holy Ghost for establishing this in your people today and as they worship you they shall go forth and grow up into the great things that you've called us to be and do in this day and the earth and the heavens shall shake before us your great ones in the earth in our day in this dispensation in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are God the living God I walk with you in the earth today and these my offerings today. and tithes establish me Ghost, in your God wealth your in your day. ability in our day and we shall go Holy forth unto greatness in, in all things even financially in, in Jesus name Jesus at his right hand.